mystery to solve in the drama department. Why, the drama department? It's so spooky in there! Yeah! Come on, gang. No mystery goes unsolved. Hello? Is, is anybody here? Would you like to buy a ticket? We're here to solve a mystery. Ah, another gang attempting to solve the mystery of the Playhouse Poltergeist. Poltergeist? <laughs> Beware the hauntings of the Playhouse. Catwalk. Do you have any leads for us? Yes, I can tell you who's all behind it right now. Jinkies, really? Yes, but I just have to read my manuscript about a man who's really a hundred hamsters dressed as a man. Oh, uh, <laughs> we're kind of in a hurry. Ah, well then. Perhaps watch my one-man show, uh, or my reel on Vimeo. Like Ron Scoot! <laughs> it's the department head's office. Thank you all for coming in. The tale of the Playhouse Poltergeist began at the beginning of the semester, when we started working on the most beloved musical of all time, Cats. That is terrible. I haven't gotten to the bad part yet. The musical has been plagued by supernatural acts. The curtain has been opening and closing without anyone touching it. Costumes were seen floating across the stage. And the entire cast was stricken with mono at the same time. Curious. Say, who's this fella? He directed Romeo and Juliet last semester. It was a terrible show and no one's seen him since. Such a shame, too. That lead actress was so talented. <laughs> Hold up, gang! A dagger! Somebody must have used it to cut the rope that controls the curtains. Didn't the head of the department say that all of this started after Romeo and Juliet? Romeo and Juliet? That show is a total bust! The director fled and was never heard from again. The rumor around the prop shop is he died of embarrassment and is haunting the catwalk. So, do you work backstage? Oh, yeah, I'm actually the props master for cats. Actually, I should probably get back to the shop, but see you around. All right, gang, let's split up and look for clues. Shag, Scoob, you guys take the prop shop. Daphne and I will take the bedroom. I'm the green room. Velma, you... Yeah. Shag? Yeah? Like Romeo and Juliet, that's the play that started this whole thing! Yeah! Jellicle cats come out tonight, Jellicle cats come one, come all, the Jellicle moon is shining bright, Jellicles come to the Jellicle ball, Jellicle cats come out tonight, Jellicles come to the Jellicle ball, Jellicle cats come out tonight, Jellicle cats come out tonight, The Playhouse Poltergeist! It dropped a light! It could have killed us! I'm playing Rumble Teaser! No Rumble Teaser, no show! <gasps> you hear the screeching of an owl, you hear the wind begin to howl. You know that zombies are. You just might die. 
All the trees begin to moan And the monsters grunt and groan Riding faces full of slime Don't you know it's never time? You've caught the Playhouse Poltergeist? It's not a poltergeist. It's... Clarice, Clarice Waldorf! Clarice? It was easy to figure out. I found this cat's crew list, and once we found out her name was Clarice Waldorf, it was easy to realize that she was also the lead in Romeo and Juliet. But the lead in Romeo and Juliet, it says right here. It's Des Lilac Pharaohs. Exactly, Shag. If you scramble the letters in Des Lilac Pharaohs, it spells Clarice Waldorf. And who else would have access to the dagger from Romeo and Juliet but the leading lady herself? That's right, Fred. And as the props master for cats, she could get up in the catwalk and terrorize the production. Clarice, why would you do this to the department? Romeo and Juliet was supposed to be my breakout performance. If I can't be a star in this department, no one can. Charles Kensington will never direct another show again. Shaggy, come quick! <gasps> the director! Why, he's right here! Fred and Daphne, I thought you already checked the green room. Uh... Oh, thank goodness I've been saved! Clarice is the one that's been keeping me here ever since Romeo and Juliet closed! Don't worry, Mr. Kensington. She'll never step foot in the drama department again. Thank you, Mystery Gang. How can I ever repay you? I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids and your dumb dog in that magnifying glass. Everybody over here with the orange ascot, weird outfits. What'd you say about my mother? Go and see me too. I see you pretending you got slipper. But you're not pulling me because I can't say. Another mystery solved. But like, where's the mystery machine? Fred, I told you we'd get towed. Well, I'm sorry, gang. What are we gonna do now? Uber? Scooby-Doo!